I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before someone was going to tell me that AI could do something better than I could in reaction to a video tutorial that I made. Yesterday, I made this video about swapping out a poor looking rainbow because of the white balance or possibly the editing that you do to your image. And I thought it was a great tutorial. I spent six hours creating this tutorial. And not only that, I had about probably, I don't know, four or five days of just putting the whole video together in my head. And then I also had to make these rainbows for everybody so they could download them and use them in their own images. And then I get this message. Why do tricky when you can do easy, far better result with Firefly? If anybody was ever wondering what a troll is when we talk about that as YouTubers, this is a troll. And this is clearly someone who doesn't have a lot of time to leave a really decent comment. So I figured I would take the time for them to experiment to see if I can do something better than AI or what I teach you can do something better than AI. So let's do this. I've already kind of pre-set up this image. This was the original image. If you didn't watch that video, I'll put a link in the description below and also tag it at the end of this video. But this was my original shot or the work that I did on my shot when I realized that my rainbow had lost most of its coloring. So I showed this technique and even give you four rainbows so that you can possibly fix your rainbows in your images. And this is about what I did. I've done most of the work to remove that rainbow because part of the process of fixing the rainbow is removing it. So I'm gonna see if Firefly, Adobe's AI engine can make a better rainbow here than what I did. Cause clearly they're supposed to have far better results. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a, a selection here and just, you know, about the size of what that rainbow was. Maybe that might be too big. Let's just go just like that. Cause that's about where that rainbow was. I'm gonna just type in here in generative fill, realistic rainbow. And I, I just can't wait. I'm on pins and needles here, just anticipating this rainbow that Firefly is gonna generate for me here. Okay. It's taking quite a bit of time. I probably could have done it already. Oh, wow, look at that rainbow. That is so much better than my work. Wow, okay, that is so realistic. And look, it even added some interesting colors that aren't even in the rainbow. It's magenta, orange, yellow, cyan, um, ultramarine, and uh, dark magenta. Yeah, because that's Roy G. Biv, right? That's definitely what, what, what the color spectrum is. And this one, I can't even begin to explain what is going on there. And then there's this one. So let's let's actually give Firefly another chance because I, I really think they did a horrible job there. So let's actually, I'm going to make a selection here and just go like this. Okay. And then double click this. Okay, now I'm going to make it so that it's kind of like where my rainbow already was, right? And see, maybe it has something to do with the area that I selected for it. So I'm gonna put realistic rainbow. I mean, I'm asking it for a realistic rainbow. It should give me a realistic one, right? Okay. Again, I'm waiting with bated breath. Oh man. Yeah, I definitely could have done this faster than, than AI, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. Another excellent example of how Adobe Firefly is better than a professional photographer who takes a total of eight hours out of their day to help you make better rainbows. So here's my work. Here's AI's. Is it far better? I mean, I guess if you want your images to look like the folder of the girl sitting next to you in grade school. Look, I did all of this in jest and you know that. I knew very well that Adobe's Firefly would not be able to compete with uh, the skill sets of a professional who is doing something for you and teaching you a technique that's incredibly valid. The thing is here, we do have to talk about this because we live in an age where uh, we want everything fast, we want it convenient, we want it now, and we also don't want to look at the alternative anymore. We don't want to look at the alternative, especially if the alternative is going to require more work. In this case, the rainbow is kind of like fast food. It's quick, it's fast, it's convenient. Does it do the job? Sure. But is it good for you? No. Is it good for your images? No. But, you know, if you want five-star treatment, it's going to come at some expense. And what's that expense going to be? In this case, it's not money. Everything I've done here is free. In this case, the expense for you is only going to be your time and whether you can learn something in the process. So what I don't want people to do, which is already kind of happening, is replace really good techniques that people spend a lot of time to teach with fast food style AI renderings. And here's what I ask of you. And please, if you could do this, this would be great. Don't leave comments on people's YouTube videos until you've tried what it is that they are showing you. 
And then if you can bring something to the table that um, sounds a little bit educated and maybe could be helpful for everyone, then I would say it's okay to leave a comment. Now I know my public service announcement isn't going to correct society because this is a societal issue that we're gonna have probably for the rest of my life. That's a product of the convenience society that we live in. Because at the end of the day, you know what happens? It's that old phrase, the cream rises to the top. The best of the best are always gonna rise to the top of the occasion and leave all of those people behind with limited and closed minds. Now I know that this is my usual style of video tutorial, but if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I like to take difficult things in Photoshop and make them seemingly simple so that you can get better results than AI. And if you didn't see this rainbow tutorial, feel free to check it out now.